Hey, what's up guys? Ricardo with Legacy Junk Removal here. 5.13 in the morning, we got an early start today. Today we got three jobs lined up, maybe four. Uh, so you guys stay tuned. I appreciate you guys tapping back into the channel. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe. Like I said, thank you very much. We have over a thousand subscribers now, so I appreciate it. You guys drop any questions you got in the comments. All right, guys, first pickup of the day is going to be a concrete and dirt pickup out of East L.A. The guys are going to be loading it up, so I'm going to do a little time lapse for you guys. Huge tip uh, for these materials. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I highly recommend you go out and give these estimates in person. You'll save yourself hundreds of dollars by actually seeing the material in person. If you don't see the material in person, for example, I send you a photo of concrete. It is very easy to uh, deceive people with pictures of material like dirt or concrete. So I'd highly recommend you guys go out um, and check these out in person if possible. If not, then you know, it is what it is. But you guys stick around, I'm gonna do the time lapse and then we're gonna go dump after that. That's it, all done. I mean, we weren't really doing nothing. We were chilling in the truck, uh, sending invoices, sending estimates, things like that. But that's all finished. Excuse me. Um, we're going to go to the dump now. I'm gonna include a big tip for you guys. Whenever you're dumping concrete or dirt or green waste, green waste might vary depending where you are. You could look up, uh, for example, for concrete recycling near me or concrete recycling near me. These places are usually uh, cement. They make cement. So if you go take your material, your concrete, as long as it's clean, they will actually give you a better rate. And here in LA County, I get charged by the load instead of per weight if I take it to these places. If I take it to the regular dump, you're gonna get screwed uh, with tonnage obviously because it's heavy material so keep that in mind always have a spot uh, I know in other areas it's super cheap I heard up north it could be like two dollars per ton just because I mean they literally recycle it and sell it so you know I don't get why it's not free but that's another topic but yeah I will include the fast forward of the dump after this and then we'll be at the second job which is going to be in west covina is yard debris i'm gonna have a tip for you guys there as well Put it in tarp, in the tarp, lay it out, toss it, carry it in the back of the trailer so we're not picking piece by piece. Show you guys when we're all done.
that's it. One, two, three piles. All gone. Full trailer. Gotta put the tarp over. And we're all done. All done, job number two complete. We have one more for today back in North Hollywood. Uh, so we're gonna get back to that. But I don't know if you guys saw in the time lapse, um, I would highly recommend when you have yard debris or any loose debris, I would recommend taking the tarp. That way you lay it out, just throw everything on it and you could fold it up or you know scrunch it up and carry it all out instead of you know having to load like branch by branch, for example, at that job, uh, it was vines. So we were able to get big chunks of it, throw it in the tarp, um, you know, wrap the tarp, carry it to the trailer and just empty it in the trailer. That way you're not taking, you know, loads in your out, in your arms or the little trash cans. It's gonna take forever. Think smarter, not harder. Another thing I would 100% um, recommend not to forget is always bring a charge phone to work uh, especially if you're still using your personal phone as your business phone i forgot to charge my phone today due to that you could miss business calls you could miss a thousand dollar jobs you could miss ten thousand dollar jobs so i'd recommend carrying a portable i myself broke mine so i'm gonna have to get one but that's your number one tool for this job your number one tool is your phone because without that phone, it's never gonna ring, you're never gonna get calls. Never forget, always keep that phone charged. If you can, buy yourself a little power bank and you know, make it happen, you'll never miss a call. All right guys, last one of the day. This is what we're dealing with. I think it's like three couches. It's bulky items, mostly. Just dumped. Went to a new dump yard. It was actually cheaper, which is surprising out here in LA. But let's get to it. Probably do another time lapse here. Show you guys what we're working with. Show you when we're all done. That's it. Whole pile was right here. We got it all loaded up. It took us, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It's not the most organized, but we're just trying to get out of here before the heat. That's it. There you guys go. All right, guys. It's the end of the day. Three jobs. We got two five star reviews out of those. Three happy clients, so can't ask for more. I wanted to talk to you guys about the biggest tip of this video and it's from our sponsor Jobber. Now, for those of you that follow us on Instagram, you've seen we've been super busy this year, a lot more than usual, along with being busy, you know, it's a blessing. Um, but there's a lot more invoicing. You have to stay on top of billing. You have to stay on top of sending quotes on time because if you send a quote too late, we all know another person already sent one and they already agreed to that so jobber helps you keep track of everything all in one place you could schedule appointments you could send quotes invoice um it'll even route out your route to the it'll optimize your route you have a, a ton of options on that app all in one app so you don't have to have three four apps no more you don't have to pay for three to four subscriptions no more it's all there one thing i really like about jobber is It'll send text message or email reminders to your clients if they have a remaining balance on an invoice. So you no longer have to keep track of, you know, 10 pending invoices and, you know, it might slip your mind, it might slip through the cracks. Jobber will stay on top of that. It'll give you notifications through the app of, uh, you know, if there's a pending payment or if there is a invoice that has to be completed so I definitely recommend it, guys. There's a ton of features on there. It makes it super 
uh, simple to use on your end and the client's end. Uh, clients have told me it's been super simple to use. For example, I could send them a link for payment through text message. They don't have to sign up for anything. It's literally open the link, process payment, and it'll send them the receipt. So it it's a time saver. I 100% recommend it. You guys hit the link in the description below and go save yourself some money. Get yourself started on that jobber, man. You guys won't, I promise you won't regret it. You gotta go hit that link below and save you some time and money.